Hi Cancer, this is your reading for the 12th to the 18th of July and I've got a new deck, you most probably have already seen the review and it is the Star Tarot by Kathy McLaughlin and uh, uh, I thank you very much for all your shares and likes and being loyal and coming back for those that are new, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and uh, also make sure that your settings in YouTube and your mobile devices are set correctly so that you can get notified when new videos are loaded up or when I go live and also from your favorite channels. To begin with, um, Cancer, you have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is Aries. You might be meeting an Aries if you are not uh, hooked up. And if you're hooked up, you might be meeting uh, a King of a Aries, a a of Wands, or you might be hooked up with an Arian. And if you are a cross watcher, um, then uh, Cancer, have a look at the Aries reading. The Aries reading, the, the readings are really overall very positive. An Aries reading is really positive. Okay. Now, if you're not meeting um, a, uh, the King of Wands, you might be taking a page out of their book. You might have reached the status of the King of Wands. You know what you want and you're going to go for it. You are in action big time. Also very logical. You've been thinking about this and you've been planning, you've been creative because you really want to make sure that you get what you are aiming for. And I think it could be a new job as that is action. Action stands for a job or a new hobby or making a hobby into uh, a career. He definitely knows how to be businesslike. He's very strategic. So you might be very strategic at this moment to get to the point where what you want you can reach. You also, um, that's Aries, but you've also got Scorpio with uh, lying here. And this is the death card. So basically you are you have been um, working towards what you want and you're going to get it because the death card means there's an ending of a phase and a new beginning like I said this could be a new business this could be a new job making your hobby into work a career you definitely can rise out of the ashes look at the Venus He's holding, I'm looking upside down, and this is a new deck, but the phoenix is here. You are rising from the ashes. You will be recognized, and people will honor you like they honor kings and queens. That is on Monday. Now we're going on to Wednesday. You might be withdrawing yourself uh, at the moment. Sorry. You might be withdrawing yourself um, sp because you might be taking a short break but you can also be going into meditation or contemplation and that is what the king does he withdraws he contemplates thinks and evaluates so that he gets to where he wants to go now the hermit it also means when you are taking time out uh, throw away what is of no use to you anymore. Right, uh, lighten your rucksack so that when you are continuing on your journey, life's journey, um, you are letting go of the old and so that new can come in. That is what we all have to do from time to time. Spring clean our mind, spring clean our body, and make room for the new. Perhaps you might, um, uh, you've got the strength card, perhaps you might not have felt so strong and determined before. It could be um, something very strange for you, but you are definitely in balance now. 
you've got a name again, an ending, a new beginning. Take your life experience and your knowledge with you and pass it on to others. You have the strength card and you've got number eight, number eight. Look at her. You've got also number eight on her chest and stomach. So open that heart of yours and your solar plex. And if you turn it around, it is the affinity symbol. You are stronger than you realize. Your patience is going to pay off. Your patience has also made you stronger by becoming more determined, like the King of Wands. You could be meeting a Leo. So you've got Aries, Leo, Scorpio and Virgo. So know that your strength, your knowledge will give you strength. Okay, That is what this card clarifies the Hermit. Your knowledge that you've gathered throughout your life's journey and your experiences will stand you in good stead, will keep you with two feet on the ground, balanced and strong and patience. Now you've also um, got the Three of Swords. And everybody's always um, scared of the Three of Swords. She's holding her hands in front of her face. Perhaps in the past you have lost something or you didn't want to see something. Um, and because you didn't, you weren't strong enough, you couldn't face it. So you lost your self-confidence, your trust, your strength, your insights. Now you've got it back because on Wednesday this is what is showing you've got it back so what you've lost I feel that you're going to get it back I'm not trying to make it sound pretty or perfect by no way at all you might have lost something this could be a job this could be ideas this could be a partner this could be a pet time will heal just be patient you're strong enough Okay. Don't go into bad habits. Okay. You've learned from the past. Perhaps you've been around somebody that had bad habits or addictions. And that could have been any of the signs that I have mentioned. Aries, Leo, Scorpio or Virgo. It could also have been a Capricorn as you've got the devil but I feel that you have broken away because you couldn't cope with somebody that's manipulating you or bossing you because you're your own person and I think you've wisened up like the hermit and you broke it off okay like the hermit you have turned your back on sadness loss of love loss of understanding loss of your freedom uh, your bonding uh, you're free now you are looking to what you want to do you see the devil thinks uh, the devil uh, thinks is a person that has a bad habit it doesn't have to be addictions all the time like drink or alcohol or drugs it could also be that they want to have the power over you because they're lying next to the strength card and they think they are it that they're God's gift to the world and they can boss anybody uh, about and possess anybody that is not how it works in friendship or relationships so break free break out of your cocoon uh, where the butterfly is in a cocoon cocoon Yes, a cocoon. Sorry, my English is sometimes not very good. Break free of your cocoon. You are definitely coming out. There is new beginnings. You have wisened up like the wise old man. You're standing in your strength and you're not sad anymore. Time has healed you, okay, and brought you back into balance. And you can say no now 
definitely cancer you're such a gentle person and a nurturing person because that is what the water signs stand for love passion nurturing caring sexy and beautiful believe in yourself like I said trust yourself have faith in yourself don't be sad about things that are no good for you and that you've lost people that manipulate you or people with bad habits or a loss of a pet time will heal but if somebody has been manipulative or bossy remember you are your own person nobody is allowed nobody can possess you you don't belong to anybody but yourself you can be with somebody but you can't belong to somebody at the weekend you've got the eight of wands the eight of wands means that there is news coming and this could come through cyber okay and thing um, things are happening very very fast all at once there could be n so many things happening news uh, invitations S people are recognizing you you might be going on holiday as well because this card means travel you might be traveling for work and the last card you have is the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles means that you might feel out of sorts perhaps after a loss of a job or difficulties or uh, a loss of a friendship that you thought was going to last for uh, eternal time infinity don't cry over spilled milk you can't change the past this is like a church window the five of Pentacles remember that the divine has your back and the angels are there for you talk to them you can always come out of your little shell your isolation because it looks to me that you are isolating yourself because of your loss you don't dare to go out there anymore look at the beginning of the week and what is happening you're back in your strength so go out there accept the invitations but follow the regulations with the Kovic join a club if the clubs are still open or um, a, a community like bingo or a swimming club or a tennis club get yourself out there and get yourself noticed that is how you make new friends and if you need help from an institution then ask this could be um, the tax office perhaps somebody you have lost money because somebody uh, did your tax return and you lost money and double check check and double check and I think you're going to get good news because you're going for what you want you've thought and contemplated about it this new beginning big time is coming you are standing your own ground you are a person to be reckoned with because you have your strength and you are in your strength so don't worry if you um if you are um wondering about something and you need advice then seek advice from an institution or a municipality it could be with your um with your uh, mind because he's the contemplating card here okay it ha might have to do with depression if you're scared of being burnt out or being depressed or if you are isolating yourself seek help but I don't think you have to worry because this is a general reading there's thousands of people out there you can gain your strength but you're better off losing somebody that manipulates you than hanging on to them be your own person you hold the key to open that door to positivity look you've got the door and you've got the roses around it so you can open the door to love and recognition and positivity 
provision. Okay. Hidden within your soul are tiny thoughts, seeds that give that, given the right care, can sprout into newly found abundance. You will find that all your daily needs are met as you listen to your heart's whisper. Meditation. Even small dreams you haven't yet anticipated can become real. As an everyday experience of beauty, let the stressful thoughts fall away. Trust the ways of your soul to bring you to what you seek. So trust, like I said, trust and have faith. Take a page out of the King of Wands book. And then the last card, your angel card, my darling, is action. Yes, you, if you stay sitting down, then nothing will happen. You have to take action. Go for it. What are you waiting for? He would go for it. Like I said, take a page out of his book. Come into action. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, my darling. Take care. Stay safe. And please come into life. We would love to meet you. And open the door to positivity and close the door to negativity. Protect yourself. You are stronger than you realize. Love you. Bye-bye.